What is going on, everybody? Today we're checking out a game called Soul Forge Fusions. Fusion. Not multiple, just one fusion. It is made by Richard Garfield and a couple of other game designers. And yes, you heard that right. The Richard Garfield. One of the creators of Magic the Gathering. This is his new card game. It's doing a few interesting things. I haven't spent any time actually playing it yet but reading up on the um i guess press kit that they sent me um and checking out a little bit of video content about the game it seems really really cool hold on my microphone's doing a weird thing it just keeps falling down um we're in the living room again. Huzzah. I'm no longer in a small little den. So we've got tons of space behind us. We're having a good time. We're vibing. Hopefully my voice isn't too echoey. I haven't put anything on the wall in front of me yet behind my computer. Um, and I haven't done a lot of talking out loud in this space yet. So I'm continuing to put it all together, continuing to figure out what I want from it all. Um, so bear with me if the audio is a little rough or I'm echoing, like I said. Um, so Soul Forge Fusion, the main thing that I like about this game, or at least the idea of this game, is that they're trying very hard to make it both physical and digital simultaneously and merge the two kind of in a more synchronized way than other card games are doing pokemon is probably the closest thing to like doing an okay job of it where when you buy physical products you get digital products in return um but it's all kind of up in the air Magic is obviously doing a horrible job of it. Uh, they need a lot more crossover in that department. Forcing everyone to buy like multiple copies of the same thing is um, a little crazy. And yeah, I think I, I don't know anything about this game. Hopefully there's a decent tutorial. Maybe not. Um, we're going to jump into it, play it for a little while, see how we feel. Upload a first impressions on YouTube. And then maybe play a little bit more of it uh, in the coming weeks. I'm a little burnt out from this weekend. Um, I'm recording this at like 10 p.m. on Sunday. So we'll see how it goes. I'm excited to try regardless. So let's get to it. So I'm assuming that the last winter is like the new expansion. There was also a warning very specifically stating that this is early access, this digital version of the game. So I'm assuming that means it wants me to play nice. News, digital deck issue, patch notes, play events, summer of stone blade. This is also a thing that's been like, this game has kind of been going on for a little while and I've never heard of it. So I'm intrigued to find out if it's because the game just isn't getting enough play and exposure or if there's a reason why nobody's talking about it. Um, yeah. Let's pre Oh my god, that's so bright. So I'm Oros. Welcome to your first game. Play creatures and spells to reduce your opponent's health to zero and claim victory. Let's walk through a brief tutorial to get you started. Each turn consists of four action phases. Two for you and two for your opponent and a battle phase. On your action phase, you may play one card from your hand. Okay. Play a creature now by dragging it to the lane. Got it. Um, I don't see like a cost. I just get to choose anything. Each time you play a card, a higher level 
more powerful version of that card goes into your discard pile. Right click on any card to see the current card and its other levels. Oh, I see. So you like level up your deck as you play. That's pretty cool. Now press done to pass control to your opponent or press undo to change a move. Okay, done. They played a, oh, it's your turn to play another card. Opposed creatures battle each other. Unopposed creatures strike your opponent. So this guy's a zombie horde, no text on the card. Oh, that guy's gonna over kill, okay. Um, let's go over here then. We get our leveled up in the discard. All right, battle. After four action phases, battle begins. Player with the forge plays to the front of the lane in attack position. The player without the forge plays to the back of the lane in defense position. Okay. If attacked, creatures in the back row fight back. Unopposed creatures attack the opposing player. Any damage inflicted remains between turns. Creatures reduced to zero are banished. If you reduce a player to zero, you win. Okay. So now we bat they battle. This guy will survive, but these two will trade, unfortunately. So now my opponent has the forge thing. You've completed your first turn. After each turn, you get new hand of five cards to play. Okay. This includes spell cards. Spell cards are distinguished by gems in the upper left corner. Spells level up just like creatures, but are banished after being played. Spells have a wide variety of effects. Try playing one now. Uh, okay. I don't want to do that. Is this guy a warrior? No. I'm not going to listen to it because I want to be efficient. So I'm going to deal damage to that and give my warrior Ten. So those will trade. My warrior. Oh, because he was in defense. Oh no, that's not good. Players alternate control of the forge each turn. The player with the forge plays first. Now try to play this on your own. Okay. Botanomy to choose a level one creature enemy creature the enemy player replaces it with a wisp minion you gain two life okay I don't hate that all right it feels very like retro I think I want it. Replace that with a wisp. I guess I could have just killed it too. So do these guys go back on defense if the I don't have the forge? After three turns you complete a deck cycle. Each cycle, your deck is shuffled, giving you access to your higher level cards. Each Forgeborn has a unique set of abilities. You may use once per deck cycle. Click on your Forgeborn to see its ability. You've learned all the basics. Try to win the game. I thought they were already trying to win me the game. So my guy gives your creatures plus three health and I gain three health. Uh, 
none of that is going to do anything. So... I mean, I guess I want to see what they play, right? We can use our ability to have our pterodactyl survive. Oh, this guy got all of his plus two zombies. I need to do six. I guess we take that. Combat. My pterodactyl will survive. There's no ground or flying, which is nice. Um. Oh, I got a level two guy. Nice. Okay, I guess we'll do this. Deal six damage to an enemy, give a warrior. I don't have a warrior out. Um. I mean, I want to get this 11 damage through. So I'm going to force them to play something else there, okay? Then we go to a battle phase. Deal 10 to the dome, which is pretty good. Okay. I'm on defense now. Deal 5 to a creature or player. Oh, I can just do this. Five to the dome, and then next turn, do five more to the dome. Wait, where did it go? Did I not have two of them? Dang it, Bobby. Okay, not bad, though. Both of our guys are going to survive. What is this thing? Zom this zombie is decaying. Wait, what? How did I win? Thank you for completing the tutorial of Soul Forge Fusion. You can revisit the tutorial. Okay. Remember that during play, you can adjust animation speed volume. Oh, okay. It did feel a little janky and slow. Kind of like um, old Windows 2000 games. Not as bad as like Arthur and all that stuff, but actually most of the details of the game feel dated, which is weird. Not in a bad way. It's like almost cool retro. I just got one of those like retro lamps that everyone loves from the 70s and, and I'm quite liking it. It's quite a good vibe. If you have not already done so, create your account to receive free decks, play against other players and try out the campaign mode. Also there's a campaign mode, I forgot to mention that. Total damage 117. Hide show. Okay, I wanted to see what this thing was. This zombie is decaying and loses five. Oh. Interesting. All right. Um, create an account, I guess. We are going to... Cover that up.
please check your email. Okay. There's also apparently like a bit of a jump start thing to it where you kind of like take two decks and mush them together. Okay, account created. I may now log in. Remember password, log in. Sick. Um, okay. Fusing a new deck. Free decks have been added to your collection. Try fusing a new combination. Fuse decks. Um, pick your first faction. I guess you Terra. They look like elves, and then necromancers. Sigmund Froud. Is that even allowed? <laughs> Um, okay, so now pick my active Forgeborn. Choose a level one enemy creature. The opponent replaces it with a Wisp. Play an Oaken Father minion. Give your creatures plus five. I mean, I like that. This one is destroy an enemy creature. Deal six damage to a creature. Gain six life. Destroy one of your creatures to give one of your other creatures plus five, plus five. That's not bad. I think I'm going to stick with this. Uh, what do we call it? Not Golgari. So yeah, this is that jumpstart thing I was talking about where you kind of take two decks and smoosh them together. So we've got like a red, black, a black, blue, the one we just made. Oh, they already have, uh, redeem code. I wonder, um, uh... I feel like there was maybe a way to get other decks. Plus one free entirely unique faction deck includes 10 new cards with three levels. Uh, special info about Soul Forge explaining the decks. So the four starter decks that we have, these four we're looking at right here, I'm pointing the wrong way. Um, they are apparently identical for all players. Every other faction deck that's not one of these four starter decks is going to be um, it says and let me say this with care it says every other faction deck is algorithmically generated. What that means is that actually, I don't know what that means. Does that mean that the cards are like in theory new and just made by AI or playable deck is made from the fusion of two different factions. 
faction decks can be combined with other faction decks to create new synergies and playstyles. They're even compatible with the starter decks. Okay. Fuse your decks and battle. Never play the same game twice. Okay. I mean, I guess we should... Ooh, cosmetics. I love good cosmetics. Keep playing and redeem codes. To, oh. Play mats? What? Oh my god. If Magic Arena did play mats, that would be so cool. Okay, let's just go play. Oh, wait, actually. Acquire upgrades and battle enemies until you are defeated or you have vanquished the mighty Reclusa and her minions in your path. Each campaign is difficult and unique. Even if you defeat or earn experience, use this to upgrade your decks, gain new powers, and come back even stronger. Okay. So it's sort of roguelike-y? I just want to really quickly... Go to the shop. One random faction deck from the last winter release. Six dollars for a whole deck. That's pretty good. A booster kit, one time bundle deal. Last winter phantom decks. Okay. And then last winter booster decks. I feel like there was a A how to Hmm. Influencer side slideshow. Is that where we're at? Okay, I don't need the video. Yeah, it's made by Richard Garfield. Okay, actually, you know what? Let me... Let me just show you this. Game capture off. Uh, display capture? Nope. I mean, I guess I can just do the other display. So this is the deck that they send. Physical content transfers directly into the app. So you buy like a booster box in the store and you get that exact booster box. Of You get that many cards. It has solo PvP campaign. It has 20 to 40 minute matches, one to two players. Um, it's on like every platform of it imaginable. It's made by these two. Richard Garfield, who invented magic. Justin Gary, who made Ascension. Uh, it's a hybrid game, so you can play online or you can play physically. Play in person or online. Soulforge Fusion Sets. So yeah, it looks like Alpha came out in 2022. So this game's already two years old. And I don't think I've heard anyone talking about it. Has two kinds of decks, faction deck and fuse deck. Composed of unique spells and creatures, plus a forge born from one of the four factions. These decks have 10 unique cards. Okay. Well, what is a fusing? Uh, okay, I get it. Unique hybrid storytelling. Okay. Custom deck lore. They've got podcasts. Sick. Um, 
But I swear that there was a how to redeem a thing thing. Uh, one sec. Oh, not that one. Um, all right. Well, I don't know where it is, so let's keep playing. All right. So there's 10 levels. We're going after a big spider. Uh, okay. Oh, I see. So we get to choose our first. At the end of your first three deck cycles, use your Forgeborn's next level ability. Sure. Oh, that was like me skipping that round. Okay. Let's go with Iron Beard. Drawn a creature with deploy, it will trigger an effect when it comes into play. Deploy, give an enemy creature minus two, minus two. Wait, what does stealth do? This creature ignores creatures in the back row. Oh, that's sick. Okay. Hmm. If this replaced a creature, give it... Oh. Sure. Does that mean this guy's going to be able to hit me? Nope. Damage reduces armor before reducing health. Damn, okay. Give an enemy creature minus four attack, minus four health. spirit oh it is okay so we're gonna give this one minus four and then uh oh not killing this guy on the first Round was not good. through armor or does it just kill the arm okay it goes through armor that's good those will trade those oh that guy survived press the log button anytime to open the game log okay 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 i'm nervous um there's too much reading to do 
give the next creature you play plus two plus two? I like this. This indomitable guy reanimates. Wait, what was that? Deploy. If you have a creature with shield in play, give this plus. Oh, okay. And then we're going to play this here. It's going to die. It will reanimate. Okay, I think I'm happy with this. I'm not entirely sure, but. This guy's gonna die, which sucks. These will trade, those will trade. This guy will reanimate. Okay. Use your Forgeborn ability. I guess we'll do that. Oh, right, because I have that Mantis meat. It, it does it automatically. Got it. Uh, okay, this robot Yeti is... I need to do nine damage total? What? What does Defender mean? Oh. Damn. play a wisp here because this guy just gave all of his dudes four shield ten okay actually no let's do this one Okay. I take two, he takes two. Oh no, he's on defense. Dang it. Okay, that was dumb. Reanimate my zombie. Or not. Oh, I didn't have the forge. Confusing. Mobility one. Exhaust this creature to move it to another empty lane. Oh, that's kind of cool. Okay, I need to destroy that. It is a problem. They play a 610. Okay. Play this. I gain the three life, which is sick. What is this? What are all these things? Let me click on the card. What? I can't take a look at anything. Okay, everything's moving so fast. Destroy up to one enemy minion. Okay, so it got rid of my blocker. 
and it has mobility, so it bounced around. Uh, I'm going to play this here. What? to choose something to level up. Oh my god, it's moving so fast, I feel like. Okay. Twelve, twelve with breakthrough. My turn. Okay. Um. Oh, damn it. No. Oh, my God. I have to deal 20 damage to that dude. I guess we'll just play that there because, like, they're not. Oh, they are going to block it. Okay. guys plant spirits okay I really hate that they show me the hand and then they shuffle the hand uh no let's put this there no it's not unopposed done Stealth, okay. Oh, but this guy has stealth too. I can take the damage though. Oh, I win. All that breakthrough. The trample, not trample. Victory!
you'll love to see it. I got to play a level three card that time. That's pretty cool. Okay, so now I just have three choices. There's no fight. When one of your beasts come into play, your creatures get plus two. This turn, they get breakthrough. That's good. Shields at the end of each of your turn. Creatures in the back row get plus three. I gotta go with the aggro. Empty the graves. Whenever any player plays a spell, they play a mindless zombie minion in a random empty. Oh. All zombies that come into play? Oh, I don't have... I think it's... I think all I have are spirits. Um... Okay. Oh, yeah, I really hate that they shuffle that. They, they lay out the hand at the bottom of the screen. And then after it says your turn, the hand is shuffled around so it's not in the same place anymore. So I think I have two copies of something when I don't. Wow. Wait, what is happening? How did he do all of that on their first turn? You may have this deal five damage to you to play it for free. Oh, copy that. Okay. Deploy, give something plus. Exalts are spells that play into a lane. Just like creatures, you can have one exalt in. Oh. Your creatures in this lane are also zombies. Oh, what? This person is just like. completely running away with it. One second. Can I pause this? No. Uh. Don't take damage. Oh, they got a free level one spell. Okay, this is. They haven't even played anything yet. It's my turn. deploy this guy here give this minus two oh uh, oh they played an eight Destroy a level one creature. Is this guy level one? It is. Uh, do I want to do anything else? 
Is there like a timer? I can't see a timer anywhere. What? Why did I get that thing? Okay. a spell this gets oh my god it has prowess that's rough am i supposed to be doing something oh i am wow i'm just getting run over Choose a uh, level one enemy. I guess this guy. This is insane. I don't. Like, what exactly do you. We play this here. Uh, oh, I didn't realize they had passed on their turn. Okay, weird thought. Maybe doing, maybe leaving the wisps in the lanes on your opponent's board is a good thing. Can you like replace uh, a creature, or is that lane like full and you can't put anything there anymore? Destroy a one or two creature. Okay, we're gonna destroy. Damn. I should have destroyed that thing. What? Oh my god. That's so rude. in chat I guess I'm gonna take five wait 
Wait, did they just play that? Down to 11. These will trade. That's going to do nothing. Dang. What is this now? Let me look at it, please. Deploy, you may play a spell spread. Can you stop going away? Oh my god. When one of your creatures in this lane gains attack, deal two damage to enemy player. Dang. Okay, well, I have. I think I'm just dead no matter what. 3, 3, 3, 9, 14. Yeah, I'm toast. I'm toast. Cooked. Completely cooked. Um. No, I need to block. No. Oh, actually, I can activate this guy. front of the six damage so I'm only gonna take eight. Oh, we live to see another round Whew. what oh this guy's got stealth boo Deck has reached level two. Oh, you literally like level up your cards? That's cool. Oh, I have to choose. Your steel plate gets breakthrough. No, I think I like the biologist. So that's it. That's the campaign. I just like. You also can't edit decks. Right? Like no matter what this. Uterra starter deck just has these cards in it. It's interesting. The game is interesting. There's something to it. I like the lanes. I'm a big fan of like Gwent. Um, and I think that there's something intriguing about it. The problem is all of the presentation. Um, you know, I don't love most of it, any of it. And I think that there's so much riding on a game focused on collecting and celebrating and understanding and visual identity and memory um, based around how you visually con convey your information. I think that for the most part, the card art is just like, meh. Um, you know, I don't mind the card layout. I can give them props for that. I think a lot of their abilities so far have been 
fairly understandable. I think the way that the digital version of the game works, it's very messy and things move at really awkward speeds and it's very difficult to keep track of. Um, but if I play it more, I might be able to, you know, get a better handle on it and remember how these things work. The problem is I'm trying to read everything and soak up information and I, it can get a little dizzying. Um, but yeah, I just think the presentation needs like, do the physical cards look like this? If I got an Esperian steel plate in real life, is this the art that's going to be on the card? Because it does not look great. And I'm sort of curious to know whether they are... So I can't, like, scope... I can't look at any of these cards closer. There's no artist name or anything on them. I'm curious and slightly concerned that maybe it's not human-made art. Um, that might be something for like the website. Maybe it explains it. Uh, we got up to level four, which is sick. What is it? Alloy Foundry. Cool. All right. New foe joins the fray. Cool. You tear a faction deck. See your new deck. Oh, okay, cool. So we got that cool guy that we used in the tutorial. Sweet. And then we get another random deck at like level 20 or so. There's no like number on any of these. I guess I just have to keep in mind my total XP. But then the thing doesn't line up with the thing I've unlocked. This, it just needs some polish. I think like maybe it's the problem of putting two really smart game board game tabletop designers in a room together where you're like come up with something cool come up with something unique come up with something that people have never seen before and they're like fucking say less um so they spend time coming up with these cool mechanics and then they've got no budget or no time to you know make a logo that's Looks like it's from this century. Um, you know, even the last winter, the expansion logo, like the word last is rocks with mold and vines on it. And winter is ice. It's like so bare bones in terms of like attempts even. Um, that I don't I don't know what I don't know what's going on um I think it's fun I think the fusing of two decks together I wonder if we can fuse two wait why does it expire I guess um, I love the fusing of the decks I like the idea that you upgrade as you play uh, big fan of that oh this is going to expire in 7 days too okay well that's pointless um yeah I 
would love to try this in paper. I think it's a lot of little things to teach someone. I would definitely suggest downloading Soul Forge if you're interested in learning this game. Um, because I think it's a lot easier to get a handle on things digitally than it is to like sit down on paper and try to explain everything. Magic is also like sort of difficult. We as magic players and, and, and Pokemon players, like we know the turn orders, we know um, the priorities and what we can and cannot do. Whereas when you teach someone who's never played these games before how to play a card game, um, there's a lot of little things and generally we miss stuff. So it always feels bad introducing someone to a game and you're like, oh wait, actually you can't do that right now. When I should have told them that they couldn't do that an hour ago so much like arena which i always suggest people try because it introduces people to magic in a fairly friendly way i think downloading soul forge fusion is a quality reason um, or a quality tool to learn how to play soul forge fusion if you know how to play it and you want to introduce a friend to it, maybe just get them to download this and try it out. That tutorial was like fairly straightforward. Uh, it taught me everything in the right order. So then I was feeling capable. I just don't know the vast library of the game yet. So when we did the campaign, it was a little jarring, but anyway, that's my take on soul forge fusion. I think I'm going to play this again. Uh, I just wanted to do a quick intro, first impression, play a couple games, learn how to play it. It's obviously by some of the best card designers and card game makers uh, on earth. So very excited uh, to keep playing. And, and I definitely want to check it out in paper as well. And I love the fact that they've got it fully transferable from paper to um, digital. I think every card game should do that. Um, they make a lot of money off of card games and they don't need to find extra avenues to charge pl players for the thing they already own or are buying. Anyway, small rant over. Check out Soul Forge Fusion on Steam or in your LGS. Um, and if you play it, let me know what you think of it. Uh, until next time, I'll chat to you guys later.